Welcome back to the program. Happy Friday to everybody. Mm -hmm. So people are all excited, Chance Patrick, to spend a little time in Iowa's great outdoors, and you're just a guy to let us know how we can do it. It's raining today, though. Best way. No, it's it, part of the day. It's and you, clear you look happy about something. that. You're rubbing your hands. It gives together. me time to sit down and relax for a little bit. <laughs> oh, is that you know? the reason why? Yeah, I'm getting sunburned already. Yeah. You know, I, I'm outside nonstop. I mean, that's where I'm at. I'm in the outdoors, whether right. it be working or at home. So when it rains, that gives my body time to just kind of go into zen and relax mm -hmm. and kind of just ready for the next soak day. Soak up the indoors. Yeah, the soak it, Yeah, just soak up a little relaxation and uh, it's nice out right now. All right, so, so. Uh, what's on the agenda over the next couple of days then? Oh, we got to go racing tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Uh, Sunday, uh, we're going to do some fishing. Yep. Yeah, I've been doing a lot more fishing. Now, what are we what are we fishing for this time of year? Is it everything up for grabs, or there's well, specific fish that are you're going for? Right now, everything's kind of biting the rivers at like 58, 60 degrees. Uh, the flatheads are starting to come up. The river's on the rise. That means those fish will start biting. So I see now Willie from the Mud Bums was out yeah. setting his, his lines last night, and he was excited because the river's on the rise, and that's good. So hopefully we'll see some big fish come out today. Uh, me and Cooper just been going for whatever wants to bite. Uh, we've been catching some big bullhead, which goes way back in my family. My grandpa was a big bullhead fisherman. You'll never hear anybody ever say that. Yeah, why is that? Why, why, do, why are people so uh, opposed to saying that they, lo they love catching bullhead? A bullhead is a rough fish. So when you got big bullheads, it means the water quality is probably not the best. Oh, really? I didn't know that. But they go clear back to my childhood to where we ate bullheads all the time. You like, ate the bullheads? Yeah, oh, yeah, we eat bullheads you all the time. Run, oh, yeah, yeah they're good. And they'd run trot lines, <laughs> and then that'd be, you'd get a lot of bullheads on your trot lines. Because you grew up near the river, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Yep. So... I like bullheads, so when we set out after them the other night, we didn't know they were in there, and I was so excited to pull out. You know, that's a big bullhead. That's pretty good size round. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. So when I was wheeling them in, it reminded me of my grandfather right. uh, of the times that yeah. you know we spent cleaning those fish and and you I eat them like, like corn on the cup. Oh, I love they're, eating them. They're, they have it's a really strong, yellow, they have a strong taste. taste. It is really yeah. okay. Yeah, and they're had a bullhead. So yeah, we, see, we always thought those were catfish when we were kids. Well, bullhead, yeah, yeah. it's in the catfish family, but yeah. they're it's a bright yellow meat. And Grandpa used to just skin really? them. Yep, mm -hmm. he'd skin them and leave the bones in. Do you remember he cliffed the cartoon character? Yeah. Remember he'd take yeah. the fish and throw the bones? That's kind of like eating a bullhead. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, you just eat them off the bone. Yep. Leave the true. tail on, fry it all together. Yeah. I had Same no idea. Catfish. Yeah, it's uh, so it brought a lot of good memories back. And now we found a pond that's got some really good eaters in it. So and now I, you said good eaters, as in big enough bullhead. Where you said you eat them like corn on the. Cow. Yeah, we just skin them. Leave the tail on them, batter them with on the ribs and everything, and then fry them, and then you just eat them like corn on the cob. And you leave and the ribs there, or you eat yeah. the ribs like no, mm -hmm. meat just slides right off all that, and by the time you're done, you got to. Do you like the bigger ones or the smaller ones? I like the ones that are about eight, ten inch yeah. long. You know, okay. about once they're cleaned, about, about like corn on the cob. Same size. Just now see. you intrigue me. <laughs> it's good, and it's yellow, too. It, that's the it's reason yellow. why you said corn yeah. on the cob. Yeah. It's a really yellow We're going to try that now. It's okay. really good, so we'll All get right. some We're going to go bullhead fishing. I love it. Okay. So that's been uh, one of our big things right now is just taking him out and letting him enjoy something I enjoyed as a child. And to be able to see those fish come back in has been pretty good. Okay. So Perfect. But technology, that's what we're yeah, here for today, we're is getting crazy. So before, I cleaned out my wallet, and I never realized why my back always hurt. So during hunting season, I have to carry all my tags, my licenses, everything in my wallet so I don't forget them when I head out to the timber because we have to have them. So by the time I unfolded all these out of my wallet Those last were night, folded up in your wallet like that. That that's is quite a, a wad. That's a lot. See, people thought you were just loaded. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, I just <laughs> thought I was full of money. But no, just tags. I spent all the money. Tags. So these were something like... So this is like a harvest tag that did not get filled. So this is one we have to have on us if we're going to harvest an animal. Okay. Because now this harvest tag is Harvest as in a deer? Uh, yeah, this one here is for a deer, antlerless okay. bow. So after we harvest an animal, we take this tag and we peel it off here, and then we wrap it around and seal it. Okay. So let's say this is, we take that off. They don't, don't ruin it. It's all right. We seal it. It's, it's no good no more. Okay. So we seal it around the animal like this. This tells us that we've harvested around this animal. Around one of the... One the, the leg. The leg, right, okay. Yep, right above the hoof is where we put this. So then it has date, months and dates. You have to notch of the day of the harvest. Okay. Okay, so that's just the first step of this tag. Now, there's two parts to this tag. On the other side is a harvest registration number spot. So when you get home, a lot of people forget this. When you get home, you're still so excited. You're showing all your friends your harvest. Yeah. 
you have to call that tag in within 24 hours and re you know your harvest report. So just jump online oh, and put it in there, or, really? or how do you do that? Well, that's you can call it in, and they give you a number that you have to write in here. Now this tag, after you write that on there, this tag comes off, and around right below this tag. That is your proper tagging. Wow. So it used to be you had to call it in or get online and enter all your information. Yeah. So they came out with a new app. Okay, show the app. We have about a yeah. minute left here. There it is. So here's Go that. Outdoors. You can go on there and get licenses. Go Outdoors IA. Yes, it's. I was kind of not big on technology coming so fast in the outdoors. But after looking through this app, it's got everything you You're need. You're on board now. It tells you what time. Like sunrise. What? Okay. Because um, that's big, because we cannot harvest an animal until a certain time, you know, when the sun, the sunrise and, and sunset. This tells you sunrise, sunset. Right. The, um, the license thing is a nice The license, you can buy your license on there. Well, now, what kind of license can you buy on? Your hunting license, your fishing license, but tags you have to have. The hard the, copy. The hard Natural tag. Tags. Okay. But you can, get your, you can get your fishing license, your hunting license. You can do your harvest report. You can do so many things in the outdoors off this app. And after setting down and looking through that. I'm hooked. Okay, D so to speak. Uh, yeah, yeah, so to speak. I am <laughs> so hooked. So, but so yeah, it's set the trouble hook for download you. Download that app because a lot of times I go off and I'll, I'll forget my wallet and have to go back home. Yeah, and I maybe you're right heading here. out all excited about going fishing. You, you forgot to get a, a license. You can just do it online and have a license. Yeah, then right you have there. it right there. So you just pull it up. Don't on get your a phone. ticket. Yeah, Very it's handy. Saves. Perfect. So, all right, excellent. So people want to follow along with you, Chance. Where can they go? Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Iowa's Great Outdoors or Chance Patrick, either one. All there right, so. perfect. That works. Thank you, buddy. Good to see you again. Go spend some time. I'm in Iowa's great outdoors. Don't go too far. We're going to get you caught up as